Okay, picture this. You're out for a nice stroll on a day warmer and greener than today. You look down at your leg and gosh darn it, you got a tick. And yeah, you make sure to pull it out and you're good, right? Well, ahead of the warmer months, Mayo Clinic wants you to be aware of the extra risks of tick diseases soon to come. As the snow melts and the ground thaws, the bugs will come out to play. Mayo Clinic, in a recent statement, wants you to be especially aware of the ticks. Ticks can famously carry Lyme disease, but there is a relatively new virus that is also causing problems, the Heartland Bandivirus. I asked Dr. Bobby Pritt, the director of the Division of Clinical Microbiology at Mayo Clinic, what exactly is Heartland virus and why is it so concerning? Heartland virus is a band of virus. It's a relatively new virus that's been discovered in the past decade or so. And it has caused fatal disease in some patients in various parts of our southern and central states in the U.S. It has not yet been detected up in Minnesota or Wisconsin, which is good news for us living in the upper Midwest. And it is transmitted by a tick called the Lone Star Tick. This is a tick that we don't have in any appreciable numbers in Minnesota. But the Lone Star Tick and this Heartland virus have both been detected in Iowa, according to the CDC. And here's another future concern. The upper Midwest is generally too cold for a sustainable population of this Lone Star Tick. That may change with climate change as temperatures warm, especially during the winter months. But it's during these spring months when the risk of tick-borne diseases is highest. And I asked Claire Kanoki, an environmental health specialist with Olmsted County Public Health, to show me why. I don't know if you can see this at all. Can you see this? Yes, yeah. Hold it up just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Do you see that circle? That's a black-legged tick in its nymph stage. That spreads most of the diseases. You never see it. People never realize they got bit. They start to come out, like the adults are coming out now, and the, the young ones will come out um, at the end of May, early June. And the experts I talked to both suggested to properly protect yourself with long layers and bug spray when out wandering through nature and tall grass, especially this spring, and to always check yourself and your pets when you are back inside. Switching gears to 